WL squad and I'm back with another banger. I said I'm back with another banger. Before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you go to my channel and subscribe. Make sure to post notification bell on because I'm posting every single day. You don't want to miss out on any video I post because I'm posting. I feel like I'm perfect. I'm posting every single day. Um, but but I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel, showing me so much love, comment on my videos. It means so much to me. Like, it means so, so much to me. Like, I feel like this is not me. Okay. We got this. We got this. But tell me, uh, this, today's video is actually going to be a reaction video. And the reaction video is, can I get a drum roll, please? Somebody told me to react to um, Beyond Scared Straight. So that's what I'm going to react to. I'm going to react to dumbest people on beyond scared straight let's react to this video i'm ready ready to react to this video like but let me plug these bad boys in these headphones in these headphones in okay okay let's get to the I don't even think Jefferson. the show's on anymore. I don't see me on TV. Is a he Number ten. A show for a burglary and domestic violence. By now, all you want to know is the dumb act he exhibited. Well, you'll find out now. He wore a pink Tweety Bird shirt to jail. You know that in no time, bullying and threats will surely ensue because the shirt he wore <gasps> what? is for kids. A tough and crazy dude will never wear such a shirt to jail, probably because the character on the shirts are for kids. Jefferson was asked if he is really tough. The inmates laughed at him, calling him a little for liking something as stupid as that. Come to think of it, why would he wear that shirt if he doesn't like the character on it? An inmate who is awaiting trial for robbery tells him he is Why would you wear the shirt? For wearing that shirt, he even went far by calling him a stupid kid. You know, but with the pink shirt on. You look like a flaming blowtorch. Did you not even know the difference? You already some out of boyfriend. Somebody gonna claim you already? Number nine, Bobby. Bobby is <laughs> somebody gonna claim you already. He's arrested for trespassing and doing drugs. Bobby said he smokes marijuana sometimes. His mom also said he comes home high almost every day. Bobby made a dumb statement. I am not afraid to go to jail. On the show, he speaks rudely to the guards without being remorseful, and this surely lets all Now, why would you say that? The Beyond Scared Straight Pause. Let me tell you this. I hear, I hear people all the time saying, I'm not afraid to go to jail. I'm not afraid. You might not be afraid to go to jail, but you're not going to like it in jail. You're not going to like it. I've been watching TV shows like people go in jail and everything, and I would not like it in jail. Like, I wouldn't last in jail for real. I hope I never go to jail at all because jail is not somewhere a place. People think, oh, going to jail makes you cool. No, going to jail don't make you cool. It don't make you nothing. It makes it look, you look stupid. But. He was locked up and more than five inmates were taken to him to bully him. They threaten him and yell at him, but Bobby keeps saying he isn't scared of any of them. These inmates aren't friendly at all. They could have That's a lie. Him from talking rudely to them. A smart kid would rather be quiet. Make sure you see who's at the top of the list. It'll surely blow your mind. Right, why would you run your mouth to? Because you feel like it, because you, like you think you're hey. a bigger fat. You're gonna come, you're gonna disrespect me. It's not gonna so you work. Think you gonna you're not gonna us? disrespect any huh? of us. Do you think you're gonna disrespect us? Oh Get your hands up. Number eight, Frankler. Frankler was featured in season five of Beyond Scared Straight for contaminating another person's drink, destruction of properties, and gambling. He added to his crime on this episode. His strange attitude was brought to the forefront of the episode during a courtroom session. During this episode, he has brought the remote trail to assimilate what it would look like if he was actually caught in his crimes. In the scene, he was made to take an oath while on stand. Even though he took that oath, he lied, and doing so is a crime. How can he lie in a courtroom? Yeah, you cannot lie. Why would you lie? He is about to be punished for. He still added to his crimes. That's a dumb idea. We you can't lie on the stand. Keep watching as we move closer to the other dumbest people on Beyond Scared Straight. Don't tell me. 
Why would you even do that? Shooting dice isn't that bad, but he just told me you don't even shoot dice, so maybe you like to shoot dice, correct? Number seven, Willie. Willie is likely to be Make the most up your mind. Kid on Scared Straight, but his fearlessness is a dumb idea. You know the crazy thing he did? While on the jail visit, he was smiling at a prisoner who was in for murder. This attitude didn't go away throughout the episode. One moment, a prisoner got into his face and decided to yell at him. A smart kid would remain calm so as to reduce the inmate's attention on him, but Willie wants to gather an irrelevant momentum. Well, this dumb decision of his didn't pay off. The inmates and guards yell at him, showing hostile attitudes towards him. This breaks Willie and made him cry at the end of everything. An actor. Why are you laughing, Mike is funny. Slap that <laughs> man. I sometimes see him laugh, man. It's not funny to be in there. Number six, Brindley. He gets 40 Brindley years. He was sent to the straight program for domestic abuse towards his parents, throwing things and hitting them. This is a common thing among children, causing domestic wow. trouble, and the show seeks to correct this. He happens to care less by almost everything he went through in the prison. This attitude is common among these kids. Only few take the show serious, while some try to show they are lunatics and care less about what will happen. Although most of them will I feel like some people's not being on the show to change. From the guards and the inmates. This isn't a smart move from these kids. We've gone halfway already. Keep watching and wait for number one. Shouldn't miss it. Please, number one, good. Why would you say that? Number five, Dusty. You're the only one in there. You got 20 different guys. Different crimes, fighting, drugs, and promiscuity. Danielle is the younger sister, and she got less retribution from the guards and inmates. Dusty was the one who faced a crazy inmate who was awaiting trial for felony. He has a Tootsie Roll Pop telling Dusty to take the sucker. He yells at her, telling her to unwrap the Tootsie Pop, which she does slowly. Dusty wasn't taking the inmate serious, and this made him unfriendly with her. He yells at her again to open faster, saying he doesn't have all day. The dumbest thing Dusty did when she was given a chance to free her sister? She didn't free her sister. Instead, she tried to free herself. Unwrap it. Unwrap that. Oh, wow. Unwrap it. I ain't got all day. Wow. Stick that in your Number four, Lay. Lay is one of the dumbest on the list for swinging at an officer. She was Why would you try to hit a guy? Fighting and graffiti. She tried to hit a female officer when she starts yelling at her. The officer asks why her fists are bald and saying that she can hit her. The female guard says, do you want to hit me? Lay replies with, yes, ma'am. Then she tries to swing at the guard who caught her hand. Then other guards came in and crowded her in a corner, telling her she messed with the wrong person. She was asked why she did that. She responded, Now, why would you try to hit a guard? And I wanted to. Lay shows how dumb she can be for swinging at an officer. We're getting closer. Make sure you see who tops Yeah, the because that's more time you can get. Number one in no time. Number one is good. See, why would you even do that? Number three. Why would you even do that? Sean is also on the list for being a dumb kid. He is always causing troubles. He started fights at the gate and continues to even in the courtroom. He looks like he wanted to leave the room almost immediately. He was very animated at the beginning of the episode, but eventually his attitude got the better of him. As the kids go to the wall, Keyshawn goes to Look at that. off instead of following the directions. Absolutely no sense in that. The guards present yell Why don't you just follow directions? The ground. We mess with your pockets. What? I said I'll put my pants up. You gotta do what? Pull my pants up. No, you don't. Yes. What did I just tell you to do? Come here. I told you once. Number <gasps> two, Alex. Smart mouth. It's not gonna get you nowhere. And also doing drugs. He is 17 years old. He is a pretty tough dude, which didn't really pay him in the episode. He shows no fear while on the show. He looks at the inmates directly without being afraid. Alex, alongside other kids, were taken to a woman housing unit, and Alex says he is too good for them. On making that statement, he meets Yvonne, who is awaiting trial for kidnapping, battery, and assault. She said she hates to fight women because it's not a challenge oh for her, and she can beat three men at a time. This shows how dangerous she can be, but Alex didn't- Dang! Really he's still smiling and taking the scene unserious. 
these kids may not be that tough, but they'll like to behave obstinate, which isn't a clever idea. You've done well if you were still watching. Without taking time, let's go Just imagine, if you don't listen to there, you'll be in there next. We'll see you'll be sitting in there. Number one, Chavez. The dumbest kid on this list. Number one, is number one. By now, all you want to know is his dumb act. He is 15, he likes to fight, smoke weed, and is also a thief. He said he is proud of all the bad things he does. He has been suspended 70 times according to his statement on the show. He is always causing trouble. Dang! 70 times? Him. While on the show, he made a dumb decision. He tried to fight more than five inmates. Isn't that dumb? The inmates were yelling at him. Want to see some fights? Come on. Why would you he even replies, try to do scared, that? Y'all. He was trying to go in and fight the inmates for insulting his dad, but a guard pulled him back and told him they'll skin your ass alive. They don't care about you or your dad. You ain't tough. They will. When they got five in there, there. and you're just by yourself. Chavez didn't have to live with the consequences of this dumb decision. Go on in, go on in. You see somebody? I'm not even holding this. Tell me what's funny. Yeah. You see somebody? Come on in here. Film trip. What do you think of our list? Do well by dropping your opinion in the comments section. Like the video, crazy. subscribe to the channel, and lastly, turn on post notifications. Bye for now. Okay, so my reaction towards that video, I don't even think that show's on anymore. Beyond Scared Stray, I don't even think that show's on, but I used to watch that show all the time. No, okay, I used to watch that show, but. I feel like they do dumb things to get themselves in there and they go on the show and some of them don't even care. They don't pay attention or nothing. They're not there to change, basically. But the if they don't change, if they don't make a try to make a change, you're gonna be sitting there with them. You're gonna be the roommate. Like, you don't want that, but I like that. I'm gonna react to some more because I'm starting to feel for that. But this is gonna be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you go to my channel and subscribe. Make sure to the post notification bell on because I'm posting every single day. You don't miss out on any video I post, but Lisa's out. Peace.